One of the most important things for me is that you gotta change your approach. You are the way, the same way that you were 10 years ago, five years ago, then let me ask you this, how much have you grown? How much have you grown spiritually in life? In life, there are certain things that we wanna achieve and most of the times we are not able to. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you the success formula that has helped me reach those goals, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's dive in right into it. So most of the times, a lot of the times actually, we get caught up into how we're gonna do one thing. So if we try to achieve a certain goal, whatever that goal looks in your life, whether that is to become a doctor, whether that is to become an entrepreneur, whether that is to become a teacher, whatever that is, we all have a goal. We all have a goal that we are, we, we are trying to achieve. Now, the, the problem with that is that most of us, okay, most of us, we get caught up into how we're gonna do it. Okay, so right away from the beginning, we start asking ourselves the wrong question because the more complex that we make a certain thing to a goal that we're trying to achieve, the less that we're going to take action on it. That's what I want to touch with you today. Some of the success formula that has helped me change the course of that, that the, of my approach. So how do you change that? You change the way you ask the questions. You ask great questions, you're going to get great, great results. So the success formula, the first thing that you need to do is you need to know your outcome. What is it that you want? Okay, well, I want to become a doctor. Okay, great. What is it going to take for me to get to that? So do you know right away from the beginning, what is it that you want to do? So you want to become a doctor? Why do you want to become a doctor, right? There's got to be more to that. You got to scratch the surface because if you, if you just say a certain thing that you just want, okay, great. That's the outcome. So the, what you're going to do is you got to know your reasons why. You got to know your reasons why, because that is going to be the key to success. Why is it that you want to become a teacher? Why is it that you want to become an entrepreneur? Why is it that you want to become a doctor? Why is it that you want to become a lawyer? There are certain needs, there are certain certainty that we all get from getting the goal that we ultimately want to achieve. And so that is why you got to know your reasons why. If you don't know your reasons why you want to achieve something, it's almost like when I was in the Marine Corps, okay, we used to have this target, okay? We used to have this target and we always used to call center mass, center mass. Center mass is the small dot, the, the bullseye. So we had a target to shoot. We knew that that's what we wanted to shoot, okay? So if we, if we hit the target, we get the whatever, 100 points, 5 points, whatever is it that we, they would give us at the, at the rifle range. So, but we had a target to shoot. Even if we didn't shoot at the small little target, we would have other targets outside that will give us certain points, okay? So you will get the, 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 the outer outside of the bullseye, but we still will get the points. Same thing in life and same thing with the goals. You gotta have a target, you gotta have a goal, because most of the times, even if, one thing that I've learned from most successful people, even when they set up goals, even if it takes them five, 10, 20 years, and then they don't get to achieve that, they are much closer than they would've otherwise if, if they, if they didn't set a goal, they are much better off by setting that goal. And even if they get close to that or halfway through that, that is much better off than not having a goal. So you got to have your reasons why. You got to have a target to shoot. Okay? Center mass. Always remember that. This is the part where you need to take massive action. Nothing in life comes easy. We live in a time right now where we want instant gratification. We want, we want it right now. If, if I can't get it right now, then, then it, this is not working. This is not functioning well. One of the things that I want to share with you is that this is going to take time and it's not, not a get rich quick tomorrow. It's not as it's going to happen tomorrow. If you are in that business, great. But, but for most of us, this is a long-term game. This is a long-term planning and taking massive action is what's going to get you there. It's what is going to help me get there. Once you identify your outcome, once you know your resource, why this is game time, you got, you got to start taking massive action because if you don't take action, then guess what? It's all just a dream. And with dreams, it's great to have dreams, but, but if you don't take the action on it, then it just becomes illusional. You just, you know, saying that you want to do something, saying that you want to become something, saying you want to provide something for your family, but nothing is really happening. Why? Because you're not taking the action necessary. That's going to get you to the target, to the center mass that I was talking to you about. Say, for example, that you start taking action, you know what you're getting. Okay. You already have that center mass. You already have that target. You already know what you're shooting for. So therefore the road becomes e not easier, but it becomes more clear. 
okay? Because nothing in life is gonna go up, okay? Success looks in very, very different ways. Success can go up and down, okay? It could go up and then backwards, okay? A lot of us take, take a lot of stuff. You know, life, life knocks you down, but you gotta learn to get up, okay? This is, this is one of the phrases that I'm gonna steal from the Batman movie. Uh, the Batman is Christian Bell, where he falls into the hole and his dad comes out and rescue him. Bruce. And he says to, to, um, to Bruce, Bruce Wayne, he was about 10 years old. He says, son, why do we fall? And the son says, well, I don't know. The dad says, we fall so that we can learn how to get up. We fall so that therefore we can learn how to get up, okay? That is a wonderful quote that I wanted to share with you because I got a lot from it. So, but after that, you know what you're getting. You know what you're getting in life. You know you know that what you're after. And then again, you're gonna fall, you're gonna stumble, you're gonna go back. Life is gonna try to knock you down. You gotta learn how to fall. You gotta learn how to learn so that therefore you can take the action because why? Because you have the target. You know what you're shooting at. You know, you know what's in front of you. And if you miss that, guess what? You're not able to provide your kids the life that they want. You're not able to contribute to the community. You're not able to, you know, uh, 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 buy your mom the house that you promised her that you would. So you know what you're getting with that. And one of the most important things for me is that you got to change your approach. If you, if you are the way, the same way that you were 10 years ago, five years ago, then let me ask you this. How much have you grown? How much have you grown spiritually in life? How much have you grown as a parent, if you, if you have kids, how much have you grown if you're a father, a husband, a, a sister, a brother, a co-worker, a, 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 um, a, a, a sister, in-law, a teacher, whatever, whatever that is. How much have you grown? If you are the same way that you were five years ago, two years ago, ten years ago, then how much have you grown? Then that's a question that we got to ask ourselves. We all got to ask ourselves that question because... If, if, if we cannot hit the reality, okay, there's going to be a point where we're going to hit a wall and that's going to be the reality. And you have two choices. You either continue to be the way that you are or you change your approach. Okay. Very, 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 very powerful. This is, this is one of the things, this is one of the ways that it's not going to get you to where you want to get faster. It's just going to make the road that much clear because again, you know what you know in life. You know, we have this blindfolds that we operate with, okay? And we are seeing life in our own lenses, okay? We are seeing them the way we want to see them. But people, see, people around us, family around us, they say, hey, well, hey, you know, you've been acting this way, okay? Why, why are you acting like that? And then I say to you, well, but that, that's not the way I am. That's not how I'm acting. I'm not, I'm not taking responsibility for my actions. That is, that is a very, very powerful Two, that's going to help you in life. Once you start taking responsibility, then the blindfold starts coming down and then you start seeing, man, you know what? You're right. I've been acting this way. I've been, I've been, I've been saying all these things and I've been, I've, been, I've been treating you this way. You know what? I'm so sorry. I, that's, that's really not how, how, what my intention was. But I see what you see now. Now I know that I know because I know that I don't know and I know that I know. I know that I know. Okay. I know that I don't know. But there's also the huge part, the big part of the pie is that I don't know that I don't know. And most of us as human beings, we have a tendency on getting stuck that I don't know that I don't know. That is a very powerful, very powerful key for you to succeed if you want to achieve something in life. So you got to change your approach. So this is, this is a formula that I want to share with you that I learned. I, me, actually, I took a course with Tony Robbins a few years ago, back in 2019. He's actually back, in, back, back live um, uh, as we speak in, 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 the, in doing live events, in, and I think it's in Miami. And what I got from that, it was that, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a power within us that we all need to unleash, but we, got, we must find it. We, we got to find it. And it's not a well, today I feel good. I'm motivated. I watched this video. I'm super excited and I'm going to take action. Great. That's only going to get you so far. That's like, you know, filling up your, your, your tank. You know, if you're emptying, you're filling it up, you know, to the second line or the third line. It's, gonna get, it's only going to get you so far before it runs out of gas again. So the way you need to recharge, the way you need to, the way you need to understand th that, that there's, there's bigger things, that there's that energy inside of you. It's by you knowing what you want out of life. What is it that you want? What is it that 
Really, what is, what is it that you want? Now, it's not a, oh, how am I going to do it? And another thing too is that we say, well, I should be doing that. I should do that. I should do this. I should do that. I should take care of that. I should talk to that person. And next thing you know, you shoot all over yourself. So that should, that word has got to be gone. You have to take it out, take it out of the dictionary, from your dictionary. And you got to know your outcome. What is it that I want? Okay. Once I identify what I want, then I got to know my reasons. Why is it that I want to do that? I identify my reasons. I take mass, massive action on it. I take massive actions. I take massive action on it. Then I know what I'm getting. Okay. But it's, if I know what I'm getting in life is spiritually, personally, as a family member, as a father, I know that I have to change my approach. I got to change my approach. I cannot operate for Albert Einstein said problems that were created. Let me see if I get this one right. But he says, you know, the problems that you created in the first place cannot be solved at the same level of thinking than when they were first created. Let me repeat that again, because that is very powerful. The problems that you created cannot be solved at the same level of thinking than when you first created them in the first place, meaning that you have to change your approach. You have to change your thinking. You cannot operate at the same level if you want to grow in life. Now, if you want to, just, if you want to be a, a certain way in a certain life, that's great. That's, that's nothing wrong with that. You know, you're still a beautiful human being. You're still a great person. Okay. Because I believe that we all humans have something unique and special that we all can bring to the table. And so that's, that's what you want to do. Then that's absolutely great. But I'm talking to that person who is seeking a way, right? I keep stumbling in life. I keep, you know, I keep falling rock bottom. I keep hitting the floor and, and I just don't know what to do. I've tried multiple things and I, I just, I just cannot seem to get the result. Maybe you're asking yourself the wrong question. Maybe you don't have a target. Nothing is clear. Everything is blurred. But the minute that you get clear, believe me, you're going to, you're going to start seeing things differently. Now there are certain, there, there are six human needs that I, that I, that I touch. And this, again, this comes from my coach, Tony Robbins. So I made a previous video on it where I touched them. So I'm just briefly going to touch them to you because I believe that this is very important. Some of the six, the six human needs that we have, the number one is certainty. We all want to feel certain that we are going to get something, right? If I know, if I know what my outcome is going to be, I need to feel certain. Okay. Then the second human needs is, is uncertainty. We all love surprises, surprises that we want, right? But not the surprises that we don't want. Those are called problems. Okay. But we need those in life because those are the ones that are going to help us move. Those are the ones that are going to help us grow in life. And uncertainty, and then the third one, it's significance. I want to feel significant that, that, I, that I'm an important person, that maybe right now with social media, a lot of people want to feel significant. If I don't get the likes that I want, then it makes me feel insignificant. I want to feel significant when I see all those likes, when I see people follow me, whatever that is, significance. The fourth one is connection and love. We all need some type of love. I know some of you want to be single. I know some of you, want, you, know, you, you know, just got through a divorce. And you say, you know what? I don't need anybody in my life. And you may, you may be right, but we all, still, we all, we all, still, we all need that connection and we need that love. And I'm not talking about a, a love from, from, from a, 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 a husband or a wife who just got through a horrible divorce. I'm talking love. You love your parents. You love your kids. You love your brother. You love your mother. You love your dad. So we all need that connection and love. That is the fourth one. The last two are what we would like to call it the spiritual. This is where, this is where you get, you hit a new threshold. Okay. The fifth one is growth. Growth. We, we want to grow. We want to grow as human beings. Once, once I went through those four, four personal needs, which is the certainty, uncertainty, variety. Okay. Significance, connection, and love. Then the, the fifth one becomes growth. We want to grow as human beings. Okay. This is where you get the spiritual. This is where, where it hits you and you say, well, I want to grow as a human being. I know that there's more that, you know, in me that I, that I want to give. I know that, that I have a lot more that, than just me, you know, hanging out with the boys, hanging, hanging out with the girls, than just, you know, partying it up and, and I need to grow. Once you hit that one, you know, you're in a different stage. And the last one is contribution. Contribution is one of the big ones. This is where it hits you. And then you say, there's, there's, there's more. Now that I'm growing, I need to contribute. I need to be able to give back to the community. I need to go ahead and make my content so that I can contribute what I already learned to people so that therefore they as well can 
build that bridge for, for themselves and avoid some of the struggles in life and be that bridge builder. Or maybe I, I, I want to be able to give during Thanksgiving time. That is one of the things that we do as, you know, as, 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 a, as, a, as a team with, with, with our team. You know, we feed 25 families every Thanksgiving, but yours might be different. That is ours. And that is, that is what fulfills me. That is what makes me, that is what makes me grow. Knowing that I'm able to give back to the community. Why? Because, because that, that, that's, that's the ultimate, that's one, that's one of the ultimate needs that we all need as human beings. So with that, I hope that you got some value out of this video. It was very simple. The last thing that I want to touch is the driving force. You got to put yourself at a peak state because if you're not at a peak state, then how, how can, how can you operate from that level? If I was talking to you a certain way, or if I say, yeah, you know, in today's video, we are going to talk about the six human needs and ultimate success formula. You, 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 you probably would turn me off right away. Okay. If, if any of those motivational speakers that you saw in the past, they went up on stage and they operated like that, or the singers, they go and, you know, start performing like that. They don't do that. They gotta, they gotta put themselves at, at a peak state of mind. What, what does that look like for you? I don't know what it looks like for you. You only know what will look like for you. For me, it's just getting in the trampoline. I have a trampoline here in my office where I just jump in and I start thinking about what I want, but I put myself at a peak state What I listen to music, whatever that is, whatever's going to look like for you, you got to put yourself at a peak state. The last one, you got to decide, you got to commit and you got to resolve. Okay, you got to decide what you want. I made a video making a decision. You know what it is to make a decision. You might say, well, I know what is a decision. Okay, do you really? How, how many times have you made a decision where you say, I make the decision of doing this and then you don't stick to that. So that's when you got to commit. Okay, that's where you got to commit and you got to resolve. Okay, you got you to change your approach. Okay, you got to they go hand in hand. You got to resolve. So with that, this is the ultimate success formula that I want to give you so that you therefore can make better decisions for yourself, whether that is personally or in your business, your family, your husband, your father, your brother, your sister. If you are, you know, beginning into the entrepreneurial world work, this is going to be a formula that is going to help you get to where you want to get faster. Now, the only thing that I want to request to you is one thing. I always request this, okay? If you find some value in this video, may you hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and share this with anybody within your circle that you know may get some value, add value out of this video because I promise you, every week we put up content where you can get some informational, you can get some ed educated on whatever, whatever is it that struggles that you may find in life. And if you find a video that you find it very interesting, you let me know. You let me know because I'll be happy to bring it to you. But with that, the ultimate success formula. May you find the value. May you share this with anybody within your circle that you may want to share it with. With that being said, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. You know, all social media is going to be down below. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.